you have been an amazing ambassador to the artistic world in mm -hmm. New York and beyond, mm -hmm. in jazz, in visual arts, in writing, mm -hmm. um, meaning graffiti writing out in public, yep. and you help put rap on a different level. Um, what, why? You know, why did you, why didn't you stick with disco? Or no, <laughs> why didn't you? Oh man, I'm so glad you said disco. Mm -hmm. Because disco was something that, before there was rap, hip hop, that whole movement in the mm -hmm. streets, there were these, what would, there were disco DJs. Yes. And so they were the mobile sound system. This went back into the 60s. I was a little boy, I wasn't on the scene, but I was aware of it. And as we got into the 70s, the disco thing, black and Latin DJs, mobile sound systems, that was the thing. No mixing, no cutting, no scratching, just playing the hottest records and the records never stopping. Yes. Because that was the biggest like amazing thing because prior to that, you put that stack of 45s uh -huh. on the record and put that thing, all, all heads know, and them records would drop down, yeah. it'd be a minute or so pause, and then the next record would play, yes. and that's how you, you rock. So that was a big innovation that disco DJs pioneered. That was the inspiration that gave birth to hip hop. That's what Cool Herc wanted to be, because these guys were legendary in the streets of New yeah. York. But also, this inspired a massive commercialization of disco, the, the like disco remix record. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, eventually a lot of bad music was made under the disco banner. Yeah. And so disco took a bad hit. But a lot of the earliest hip hop groups in New York had disco in their name. You know, the disco three, yeah. the disco four, yeah. disco this, disco that. 